Hi everybody and welcome to True Wants, where here we try to help you make that decision if it's going to change from a want to a need. If you are new to my channel, I really hope you will choose to subscribe. It's free and it's easy. It's the red button that you see right underneath this video. If you press it and it turns gray, you're in. It's that simple. There's also that bell beside that subscribe button that I always recommend that you press. It's called the notification bell. And what ends up happening is YouTube will notify you just once that I have uploaded a brand new video. I do upload a lot and sometimes my videos are time sensitive, so I don't want you to miss out. So make sure to press that subscribe button, ring that bell, and you'll be in the know. Also in that same area, there is that thumbs up, and that's where you guys come in. If you enjoy the content that I make and that I make so much of it, please take a second when you arrive to hit that thumbs up. It will turn blue, the number will increase, and that's you helping True Ones get noticed on this huge YouTube platform. So I'm thanking everyone in advance for the support of the growth of True Ones simply by subscribing, making sure to hit that bell so that you are notified and you are in that know, and then to make sure not to forget to give the video a thumbs up so that I know that you guys enjoy this type of video. So if you're like me, we've had the opportunity now to go through our choices, maybe put some add-ons in our bags, and we have completed our the second of the month choices for our BoxyCharm box. And now we can see through Ipsy what the official all the products potentially could have been in our boxes. So if you're like me and you're curious, let's get started and see what Ipsy could have had in store for us if it didn't end up in your box or your choices or in your add-ons. All right, so let's get started. So starting with the glam bag and then we're going to do the BoxyCharm box. We could have had in our boxes or in our add-ons from Ciate London, the Dew Skin Vitamin C Glass Glow Primer, the highlighter in Sunbeam from Floss. And then you'll see we had a few options in the add-ons for me that were in the Floss. So if you haven't seen my choice video, I go through my two paid for version boxes as well as my glam bag reveals that are in my paid accounts. So I have two. We also, if you haven't seen the PR unboxing, I do really informative videos here. So I will leave that linked down below as well. So if you haven't seen those videos, you'll be able to catch up on those. Then from Kate Somerville, the exfoliate treatment, which I've shared with you is the nicest way for me to even tell you how I got introduced to Kate Somerville, it was through this treatment. But what I wanna share is if you did pick this up or you did get it in your box, make sure to read the instructions, only use it for one to two minutes. It is a really concentrated product and that's what Kate Somerville is all about. She uses really good ingredients, but they can be intense. So just be very careful if you ended up getting this. From Refreshments, their hand cream. This one is an unscented. The Generation Skin, this was in my add-on section. I didn't see this in my uh, group of products. Then from Keys Soul Care, this was in my PR package. Really excited that I had the opportunity to get this. If not, it was going to end up in my add-ons. And it looks like another refresh hand cream you could have got it in the scent that was jasmine the next group of products that could have been in our glam bag for the month of july of 2023 was from trifle cosmetics this was in my add-on section if anyone picked this up please tell me because i made sure to put two add-ons in both of my glam bags because i had that free gift as long as i got to 25 and i tried to stay within that 25 dollar realm if not this would have ended up in my bag this is the jelly juice and then we had it here in two shades my area only had one shade option then from grow now chemist i shared with you this is a product that i really enjoy i have this in the full size this was in the 350 section in the add-ons for me they chose this Lottie London color scheme for me in one of my bags. And then I saw another color variation in the add-on. So I ended up picking that up for myself. I also picked up in the add-ons, these Dew of the Gods. They just look too cute for words and I love Dew of the Gods. So that ended up being a win for me. This didn't end up in any of my bags or in my add-ons. I would have liked to have tried this Mud Masky because everybody has shared with me that they're enjoying this brand so much. The Elf Cosmetics, I could not resist. When I clicked on the picture, I saw that there was a value of $10 on this, which means that's the full size. So I ended up putting that in both of my add-ons. Then we have from Sweet Street. This was not in my bags or in my add-ons. Then from Trust Fund, this ended up being in my PR package. Oh, here's the other Lottie London that the colors 
aren't they the cutest i ended up choosing that in my add-ons fox bay hair i have the full size of that this head uh, candy ended up in my PR package, but it wasn't in any of my two paid for versions or in my add-on. So I'm happy that ended up in my PR package because if you got that, the scent of it is so lemony and delish. I'm happy that I'll have the opportunity to play with that. Algenist, another high-end brand that you'll be able to try in the 350 section. This Mercy Handy, I was going to get this because I really like the Mercy Handy hand creams, but when I clicked on the picture, this was only a $7 value in the 350 section, and I already picked the ones from Do With The Gods, so I ended up choosing something else from the 350 section to get me to that number of the 25 for the free gift. Then from Mobo Beauty, there's this came in a few other shade selections but we did see this in the spoilers and then from first aid beauty this is the bounce boosting serum i did not see this in my add-ons or in my bags as well as the cores cleanser i've received in the past and i've added it on in the past but i didn't see it this time around in either of my bags or in the add-ons then from lovecraft beauty i was so happy that they chose this for me because that was going to be one of my choice items but i ended up choosing this brush which they ended up choosing for me in my other paid for version so i'm going to end up with two of these then we have from yc collection the highlighter this i saw in the spoilers but i didn't see in any of my bags first aid beauty this was also available in the kb bump and then the hear me raw they chose for me so that's going to be a new one for me and then this sweet street that looks like we'll have an option of some eyeshadows in the future i did not get any of these options what a unique color combination this i was hoping was going to be in one of my add-ons or in my bags and i did not get this option with this wing me this looks like such a unique brush that i wanted to try it then from Elemis, I have this in the full size. The Gimli Lala was one of my free gifts last month in my bags. Bumble and Bumble, this is a styling cream. And then from Toy Factory, this ended up in my PR package. So I was happy to be able to share that with you guys. And then there's some more shades from the um, Mo Beauty brand. Shades by Shan, they showed, chose for me. I'm happy they did because this was not in my add-ons, but it was in my bag. And like I've mentioned, I'm really impressed with this brand. So anytime I have an opportunity, to try anything from their brand i'm really enjoying beauty creations this watermelon roller gloss i definitely would have chose that sounds delish but did not see that either again yc collection of the highlighter in another shade and again the floss and the highlighter in another shade refreshments hand cream again in another scent didn't have any of these then from kate zemerville the triple acid that was one of my options and the pro collagen cleansing balm i'm very excited they chose for me in one of my bags then again mo beauty we went through the first aid beauty this was also an option but it's oil to uh, makeup remover i have this in the full size again sage by sean i didn't know this would have been available in a few colors I assumed mine was black. I'm going to have to go back and check now. Then from First Aid Beauty, this is the Hydrating Serum. Dionys, this, if you have not tried their Goat Milk So Keeper Foot Cream, and this was an option for you in the Glam Bag, definitely pick it up. I am so impressed with this brand. It is one that I really, really enjoy. Their hand creams and their foot creams to me are fantastic. Seraphine Botanicals, this I ended up in my PR package. And then from Touch and Soul, this one I've shared with you. A few of us have gotten this possibly in the past in BoxyCharm in a jar. It is the most unique primer that I've ever used. And I'm so excited that others will have the opportunity in the 350 section is where I saw mine to be able to try it. This I ended up putting in my add-ons because I'm impressed with this INH brand. It's a newer brand by these two girls that uh, are from the industry. I think they either worked at ColourPop. They looked very familiar to me when I when I saw them introduce their brand. They do a lot with hair extensions and now they're getting into some heating products. So I was excited to try that. Toy Factory, I chose for myself the L1 as a concealer, but I ended up picking up another one in the 350 section in the M1, which is more medium skin tone. So one I figured I can use as a concealer for under my eyes, and the other one I figure if I have a blemish or something on my skin, I wanted to get it in another shade. This is one of their newer launches, so I could not resist. Then from the Lovecraft Beauty, 
this was not an option for me, only the other color that they chose for me. So I was happy the color that they chose for me. Now we have the spoilers for the BoxyCharm box. And this one I ended up choosing for myself for my bag from the Ace Beauté, the Seal It Makeup Setting Spray. This I would have chose for myself, but there seemed to be in my selections this time around a lot of masks. So I ended up choosing something different. But this Ahava would have been 100% in my bag because it is a brand that I always enjoy. Beauty Vault I've had in the past. It is a really nice brand and combination. So I didn't end up even having that as a choice, but that is a good one. Estate Cosmetics. I have so many sponges, but I was so on the fence to grab this. But when it ended up not being in the 350 section, I passed on it because I didn't put it in my bag. But I was so interested, so I'm hoping if someone else did... They're saying that if you put water on this, like warm water, it's heat activated and the color will change on the sponge. I thought that would be a lot of fun. Then the Formula Z, I ended up choosing that setting spray as well. So I ended up with two setting sprays in my both my bags simply because these two brands I really, really enjoy. The Glowiest ended up in my PR box. This IDAZ. I don't know enough about this brand and I have so many face masks that I have to use and I have to get myself into the habit of starting to use them a little bit more often. And usually in the summertime, I have the time to do that. But for some reason, we're already in July and I'm really not not doing it this season. Then from Kate Somerville, the acne treatment, this I have in my arsenal. The Misho Beauty, I was really surprised. I know this is a higher end brand, but we used to see this in the 350 section. So I was surprised that this was in the BoxyCharm box, which makes that more of that $12 type of full size product. This I did not see from this brand called Neon. It is a pretty shiny in Meta. The Pearl Lace Beauty, this polish was available in two exfoliations. So those were both options for me. The Shiana B, I didn't end up choosing. I had it in one shade that was available in both my boxes, but I ended up choosing the setting sprays instead. The Skin Ink, I have this product or something similar to it. Sweet Street, I got lucky. That was in my PR box. If not, that definitely would have been in one of my bags. Trust to Say Beauty, I've seen these in the past, but I did not see them this time around. The Sculpt Nectar from Verb was in my PR box. I got lucky with that one, so I was able to choose something else. This Wing Me Cosmetics Brow Gel, I got a different brow gel in my PR box and a different option from the Trust Fund Beauty. Siate London didn't end up in my bag since I know was a power pick that Ipsy would have chose. And I was keeping my fingers crossed because I got lucky in the PR box to get the one from Natasha Denona. And I shared with you my thoughts on that in my my bag as well as in the other so i ended up choosing this because it was in the 12 dollars section and this is the newest launch from siate london so i ended up grabbing that then from first aid beauty this is really a product that i have and enjoyed herbivore the same kate somerville i've shared with you and then kate other kate somerville i own that as well in the cleanser the key soul care another one that i would have definitely chosen but it didn't end up being from my recollection in either of my bags. This Melon Gotez, I ended up getting lucky getting that in my PR box. They chose for me this Vitamin C Brightening Cleanser. So I'm really excited about that because I love the Rodeo brand. And I ended up choosing in the Boost in one of my bags. I upped up to the one from the Rodeo brand, which was the Dragon Fruit. And to my surprise, it was like an over $100 value. I did not know, but I know it's an expensive brand and I know my skin loves it. So I ended up treating myself to that. And then the uh, Saturday skin, this we have had in the past, and it's one that I've shared with you as well. Then from uh, Herb of, uh, Earth uh, Har Harbor, this was one that they chose for me, so I'm excited to get that. LES Beauty was another one that was an option. This Renee Rebeldi was another one that I chose for myself, but I chose it in a different shade that looked really pretty. And the few items that I've had the opportunity to try from this brand, I have really been enjoying. So I decided to choose that for myself in one of my bags. Il Maquillage, this is a product that I've had in the past and really enjoy. Origins, they chose for me, so that I'm excited about. And then the Lucky Cheek in my other bag, I ended up choosing that one for myself because that is another brand that I've been introduced to through Ipsy and I'm really enjoying as well. 
Then from Origins, this was another one that I chose for myself. This is the 10 minute mask. This one I'm really interested in. So what I ended up doing was instead of getting the hair mask, which I find I don't really do a lot, but what I ended up getting really excited about was there was a towel, which I really did not need, but it was only in the 350 section. So I ended up choosing it for myself because when I went on the picture to learn more about it, it supposedly had bamboo in it, which also helps. I have very heavy, thick hair. So if I can get anything to help my hair dry faster, I always pick them up. But then I saw it was also a $30 value. So I was very excited. So I'll have an opportunity to try something from this brand. Here is the color that I ended up choosing for myself in uh, my uh, bags. And then again, there is the shade that they chose for me. But I still have the cream bronzers that I have that I haven't even had the opportunity to play with yet. So I ended up choosing something else then from trust luce this was in the past but wells people this was another one that uh we've had the opportunity to see in the spoilers and some people really love this brand but a lot in the comments said they are not a fan of this brand so i was on the fence with this one based on our community i ended up not choosing it for myself English breakfast tea. This was in the add-ons, but it was in the $18 section, as was the Kate Berkey. So I ended up passing on both of those, but if they were in my bag, I would have been really, really happy. And then here is the Natasha Denona, the Fez eyeshadow palette. And I shared with you that when I got mine, the brown shade shifted in the pan. So to me, this was not a shipping or an Ipsy issue. This is an issue of the manufacturing of the Natasha Denona palette. And what ended up happening, so if you get this, just be very careful when you open it up because it was very easy to press it back into the pan. So when I showed it in my video, you were able to see it almost looked like there was never a problem with it. And But be very, very careful because what you guys shared with me, and I appreciate it so much because between everything that I do and filming for, for the channel, I don't have the really the time to really watch others. And so many of you have shared with me that you had the opportunity to watch other people who also got their PR early that they ended up having damage on theirs as well. So this is something, like I said, I think it is a manufacturer defect. So if you get this, because I have it in one of my paid for versions, they chose it for me as well. I'm going to be very careful when I open it up Make sure to press everything back in and then I will share and put it in probably a gift for later or if I have to press it in, I might end up just passing that on to a family or friend member. So that is just something I want to make sure to share with you, but I did have the opportunity to swatch it. It is a beautiful palette. The colors are very, very unique, something I don't have in my arsenal. I'm not sure how I would put this on my eyes but I will definitely have the opportunity to play with it now that it is in the bag and that I have it I'm going to definitely do that and then from origins this is the skin retexturing mask like I said there seem to be a lot a lot of masks in this month's uh, versions for me of what they chose for me Please share with me in the comments if you felt that well. I'm finding my bags are more, especially my BoxyCharm, seem to be more skincare heavy this month. But I think that is really, if it was going to be skincare heavy, this was the time of year where I find that I spend a lot more time, you know, out and about. And I try to really do a lot more skincare and a lot more purging because of all the sweat and everything from being outside. But now that I'm in Florida, I seem to be really going through skincare far more than when I lived up north. But as I share with you all the time, my beauty quiz, I choose for it to be a mix of skincare and beauty. If I wanted it to be more makeup heavy in one of my bags, I could switch it up. But I've been happy with the selections that they have been choosing for me. And like I share with you all the time, even if I'm not overly excited with what they chose for me to be in my bags, after I have the opportunity to get it and play with the products, I have found that the products that I'm least excited about end up being my new faves. So please, if you have the luxury of getting into subscription boxes, don't be disappointed if it's not what you wanted based on spoilers or what you saw. 
If what was chosen in your bag, take the time to play with it and maybe you'll be surprised like I have. And that's why I'm enjoying my boxes so much more and I don't get as disappointed when something's not in my box because the opportunity that it will show up later on in add-ons or sales or things like that and it's something I really want, then I end up getting it. But I really truly is someone that did not even know about subscription boxes before I moved into the U.S. just over four years ago. And for me, since I've had the channel, we're going to be coming into our four-year anniversary at the end of this month. I cannot believe the amount of products that I've had the opportunity to try and enjoy and learn about and explore. And my skin has changed so much because of it and my makeup and makeup techniques and all of that all because of the subscription boxes that I was able to go out of my comfort zone and really allow myself to be opened up to new products and new adventures which is what the boxes are for me so hopefully that's what you get out of your subscription boxes as well please share in your comments about subscription boxes if you love them as much as I do or if you've been disappointed or, or it just didn't work for you, I would love to know that as well. But being a Canadian girl, our prices in Canada are so much higher and the brands don't always end up being, we have different brands also in Canada that I'm, I'm missing and not finding here. So when I go, I still call it home to visit, I end up picking up some of those brands as well. But for me, this has been an absolute luxury to be able to put aside a certain amount of money every month to treat myself to this, which I never had the luxury to do before. Like I've mentioned, I've saved up for sales and all of that. And I find the prices that we get through the Ipsy and the BoxyCharm world has been such a way for me to explore and enjoy. I really hope that others get that same enjoyment too. And that's where I started the channel. I wanted to share about my exploration of all these new brands and products and Ulta and sales and and then when the boxes came about, I could not wait to be able to share about the brands that I've had the opportunity to try and use and the new brands that I feel, I, I, I learned about. But what has made this the most enjoyable adventure is spending it with you guys and you guys sharing in the comments about the products that you found that you loved and your skin types so that all of us can learn from each other. And that's what I love about having this channel is the community that we've created here. So if you've watched this video all the way to the end, just leave in the comments TW all so that we know that we have seen all of the products that have been revealed for the month of July. And I really hope that you have a fantastic rest of your holiday weekend and I will see you all soon again in my next video. Take care everybody and stay safe and well. Bye for now.